Hey y'all, Elise Nicole here from Just Things with Elise and I'm coming to you with my February budget setup for 2019. So if you are interested in seeing what we have going on this month as far as our budget and any kind of plans that would affect our budget, stay tuned. going to get right into um, setting up this budget and before I go into the actual budget I just wanted to show you how I have um, my February part of the planner set up as well so you open it up I went a little crazy with the flower stickers but I love how it looks and I used my erasable pens to write February out and I found this font on Canva again. Um, I think this was the dancing letters or something like that font. Something with dancing. Look that up on Canva and it'll come up. Um, and then these are flowers from the journaling doodle kit. Well, not kit. The sticker book from my Happy Planner. And I used all of them except three. <laughs> out of the whole book um, I used all the flowers up and then I ended up tearing a little piece of just the leftover paper that the stickers are in to get a little piece to cover up this part of that on there because it just it messed up the page so I ended up using a bunch of stickers right here just to cover up that little banner um, and then I decided to go ahead and make it a border on the top and the bottom and then around the actual word too. And these are circle stickers that I cut in half and then cut the white part out uh, to just use as an outline on that. Then we have the monthly spending log again. And I did change it like I said I was going to in my last video. Um, instead, well last month I had the days across the top and then it was just whatever on the side. It was empty. And I put in um, the amounts per day. But this time, um, I really liked how it was in my old bullet journal that I made out of a composition notebook. And I had the bills and everything down over here. And then it was the days of the week, or well, of the month up here. But I couldn't get it to fit right in this journal. So... I changed it from last month and just put the days of the month on the side and then separated all of the expense um, categories, I guess, yeah, <laughs> um, up at the top. So it'll just have that specific expense in each column, but it'll go for every day of the month. And I really like that better because it helps you um, actually see what you're spending ex as opposed to this which is from January and is literally just showing money that was spent each day but it doesn't tell you the actual category so I look forward to using that next month so I can actually see what's spent in each category better then we have the monthly layout and um, like I said on the last video I have the same boxes the same amount of boxes for each month well I will have I don't do it until that month comes so all of this is blank but um, I'm going to have the same amount of boxes for each month and then just fill in however many days that month has because some months need um, all of these rows and columns and some don't as you can see this one stops right here but yeah I have all of my bills listed out here the day that they're due and then the ones that are blank I don't know the exact amount that those are going to be yet so I just left it blank and then have a few little motivational stickers also from Happy Planner and now enough with the lollygagging let's get to the actual budget setup so as you can see I already 
so the title made all my lines that I need filled in everything and I'm gonna zoom in so that you can see it better because when I look at the video it looks like it's not as easy to see so you probably cannot see <laughs> alrighty so let's get started and I'm just listing out all of our bills for the entire month and then I'm going to list the expenses down here um, in the categories that we usually have. So let's get started. Oh, and I'm using a pink pen this month since it's the lover's month of February. <laughs> if you celebrate Valentine's Day, I know some people don't, but I do. All right, so our first bill is gonna be our mortgage, as usual. 16, 26, 28. Then we have our personal loan, which is 105. Amex. They might as well just change the name of that card to Amex. American Express is too much to say. That's 35. Phone bill. Is 55.88. I don't know why I had to think about that. Like it changes or something. That's a terrible eight. <laughs> And we have our electric bill. This month that is $44.68. Some of our bills aren't listed yet on the website. So I don't know how much they're going to be. So I'm just rounding to a number that's close to what it was the last time or what it usually is but this one was already posted so that's the actual amount that it's going to be this month and then we have our capital one card <clears throat> excuse me mohima Bank of America. And like I said on the last video, I'm just going to put $86 here. And if my husband spends $86, it'll actually be planned for this time. And if he does the regular $48, that will be good too because it will just put us under budget. Atmos, which is our house gas bill. This one is not listed yet online, so I'm just putting 65 because it was 64.54 last month, and I feel like we have used about the same amount of gas because we have had that heater blowing. Let's see, rooms to go. 44. This was $22 and then it jumped up to $44, but I don't know why because this is one of the zero interest um, things that we have and the interest doesn't start until I think 2021. So I'm not sure why they would increase the monthly payment. It would be paid off. Like even if we paid the $22 up until I think like February 2021, it would be paid off before February 2021. Um, so I guess they just want to help us pay this off sooner. I don't know. But whatever they say the minimum is, that's what I'm going to pay until it's time for us to reach that one in the snowball. Let's see, and then we have our car insurance, which is one sixty-seven sixty-seven for now. Netflix still eleven ninety for now. My student loan 
Care credit. This is the last payment for this card. I cannot wait to pay it. And it's going to be one eighty seven thirty two. We thought it was one eighty five thirty two, but turns out we were two dollars off. So one eighty seven thirty two is the last payment we're going to have on that, and that is on the sixteenth when that's due. So that'll be from paycheck number two. Then we have our discover. Is seventy nine taxes ninety life insurance. I feel like I don't have enough spaces. I never feel like I have enough. Seventy three oh three now. Two months early. Let me see. Well, that's enough. Show doesn't look like it though. Let's see the water. This is another one that's not actually out yet, but it's usually around seventy three thirty five. Like it was exactly seventy three thirty five for a lot of months, and then last month it was like sixty something less than 73.35 uh, but I'm just gonna put that still and if it's less good if it's that amount good if it's more not so good <laughs> let's see got trash which is 17.21 I keep thinking about how much these things are though they are not the same amount every month. We have internet. Which is what? 101.48. Car note. Just one. That ain't right. Uh, wishful thinking. It's two forty one sixty eight, and then our well, my iCloud, the drive or whatever it is, ninety nine cents. And I did not add this up beforehand, so we get to do the math together. Yeah, that's all the way in, right? Yeah. Alrighty. So let's see. Sixteen seventy six twenty eight. One twenty one fifty four eighty six sixty five forty four one sixty seven sixty seven eleven ninety seventy six eighty four one eighty seven thirty two seventy nine Ninety seventy three oh three seventy three thirty five seventeen twenty one one oh one forty eight two forty one sixty eight and ninety nine cents. So looks like this all comes out to thirty three seventy nine eighty five if I did not <laughs> Add anything incorrectly. Let me know 
if you notice that I added something incorrectly on here please thank you all right and so now for our monthly expenses as you know if you've seen my last video this is our no spend month and so February we will not be doing a no spend month but we're thinking about doing one in March and um, if you saw our last video also you saw that we ended up spending some extra money uh, this last pay period that we're still in right now in January because our pawpaw passed away my husband's grandpa passed away and so we had to use some money to get a rental car to go back home for his funeral because our car was in the shop and so we had to spend some money on that uh, the money for the car hasn't actually come out yet because it's still in the shop. So, hopefully, they said it was supposed to be out last Friday. Well, you know, two days ago. Today, Sunday. Um, but it ended up not being ready yet. So, now they're saying it'll be out tomorrow, which is Monday. So, hopefully, it is because we need our baby back. <laughs> but we spent that extra money to... So we ended up pretty much spending the money that we had saved up from the no spend month. And then we, the day of um, our papa's funeral, we found out that my aunt passed away. Uh, my great aunt is my mom's aunt, my grandma's sister. Uh, but uh, she was 101, so we were somewhat prepared for it. It's still sad that she passed away, but... Uh, we were somewhat prepared um, just because of her age. Um, but we were hoping that she made it to her 102nd birthday, uh, which would have been in July of this year. Uh, but when it's your time, it's your time, and we understand that. Uh, but with that being said, that means that we are going to have to spend some extra money this month in February uh, because her funeral is February 2nd. So, we're going to have to spend some unexpected money on that, too. So, we're going to have to rein it in a little bit, the point of this story. Um, our expenses for February, even though it's not an actual no-spend month, uh, it's going to have to be a low-spend month. So, aside from our actual bills that we have to pay, <laughs> um, or we want to get something taken away or turned off... Um, we're going to try our best to keep this part, the expenses, as low as possible. So we're down here now on the expenses. And yeah, so that's the backstory of what's going on for this upcoming month. And let's get this started for the expenses. So we have our groceries. Gas. Oh, come on. At least one time while I'm writing, the pens decide they don't want to do what they want, they're supposed to do anymore. And I think I'm going to put in the kind of necessity stuff first and then go from there. I guess groceries, gas, uh, tides. savings, uh, my best friend's birthday, uh, due to everything going on, uh, we aren't going to be able to go and celebrate her birthday with her, it'll actually be the weekend that we're going to my aunt's funeral, so I'm just rolling that money over to February, and we will definitely do something, celebrate, I don't know, something's going to happen, so I'm rolling that money over to this month, then what's left, miscellaneous, 
And then if we have anything left over, be William, me, eating out. Entertainment. I'm missing something. Let's see, we got groceries, gas, eating out, entertainment, miscellaneous, William, me, birthday. What is it? I really don't know. What I'm going to put, even though I know this isn't what was supposed to be right here, is trip for going. Um, her funeral is in Chicago. So we already got our plane tickets last night. And we'll be headed up there uh, Friday night. And luckily we were able to find an affordable ticket, well more affordable than Dallas, an affordable ticket flying out of Austin straight up there instead of having to drive to Dallas. So that way we don't have to miss work. Uh, we can go to work the full day and then head out to go up there that evening. And we'll be there until Sunday when and we're going to leave in the afternoon Sunday and head back down here. But anywho... We're going to need some money for at least food while we're up there. If nothing else, we're not going to be buying any souvenirs or anything. It's not a enjoyment trip. All right, so for groceries, we did really good sticking to our meal plan this month. I'm really proud of us. Um, uh, if you saw the last video, you saw I did have to add some money onto the grocery budget just because I didn't take into consideration that we weren't going to be spending any money eating out or from the entertainment part like going on dates or out with friends so we would need more in the actual grocery budget so I think I'm going to do that again this month um, we're going to try not to eat out but I will leave like a little bit maybe like twenty dollars in the eat out budget uh, just in case we have to but think I'm going to just put all the money into groceries and well most of the money into groceries and then just a little bit in eating out so put $20 down here yeah then we're going to put it's regularly for the month $120, uh, but I think I'm going to put it up to, let's see, how much did we budget for last month? So I ended up adding 40 more dollars on top of the 120 to make it 160 so that sounds good. And that would be right if I'm taking 20 out for this. Well, it's not right, but <laughs> it'll work itself out. Anyway, so 160 for the month on groceries. Gas is 120. And we were able to save money on gas since our car was in the shop for the last two weeks. So I guess that's a good thing. <laughs> if you can count that as a good thing. Then our ties. Um, like I said, my husband got a raise at his job. So it's not going to be the same amount as usual. But I do expect another lesser than check. So it's going to be one... 75 43 and for savings I'm actually going to knock it down to just a hundred dollars for this month 
that's better than zero, which is almost what we did last month, well, January. We ended up only putting in $50 so far. And let's see. This was $100 that we had saved up for our birthday. And some of you might wonder if we are cutting back on all of this, why don't we just take away the birthday fund? And it's because she is amazing and she deserves that $100. Uh, she came down for my birthday. She came from Dallas down to where we live in Pflugerville, which is right outside of Austin, for my birthday in December. And she basically just showered me with gifts and all of this the whole weekend and just spent quality time with me. So I feel really bad that we're not going to be able to make it for her birthday. So I will not take this out of the budget. I don't care what kind of sense it would make to do so. It will not be done. And so for miscellaneous, I'm not changing this because, especially with everything that's been happening lately, need something extra somewhere just in case. And William, 25 this month, me, 25 this month. We usually get $50 a month. Or is it a hundred? I think we usually get a hundred dollars a month, and then each pay period we get fifty dollars each. That's what it is. But I'm still cutting it to just fifty dollars for this month. And then entertainment, also just twenty dollars. Trip, we're only going to be there. We're getting there Friday night. We'll be there the whole day Saturday and leaving out Sunday afternoon. So we should only have to eat like basically breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And maybe breakfast the next day. But I'm pretty sure we're going to eat at home. But just to be on the safe side, I'm going to put $50. So that's our expenses for this upcoming month in February. Now let's add that all together. Ugh, get off me. It's going to be 160 plus 120 plus 175 plus 100 plus 100. 50, 25, 25. 20, 20, 50, so it's 845 on uh, extra expenses. All right, and that's going to do it. This is our whole budget for February 2019. For our bills, we have $3,379.85 budgeted, and then for our extra expenses, we have $845 budgeted. So that total amount all together, which I don't have room for around here, well, I guess I could squeeze it right here, $33,79.85. hard to do 42 24 85 let's see if I can write total amount budgeted total amount budgeted all right so that is going to do it for this video. Thank you for taking the time to set this up with me. And I look forward to seeing you in my next video, which is going to be our paycheck number one set up for February and our paycheck number two review from January. And you saw a little bit of a sneak peek of it when I had to go back to reference it, uh, but it's still not filled in yet. 
Um, so I will see you then. But if you did like this video, please go ahead and give it a huge thumbs up. I really would appreciate it. And if you are interested in seeing more from me, go ahead and subscribe as well. Hit that red subscribe button. You are more than welcome to be here. And if you have anything that you would like to add, um, any suggestions on something I can do in my upcoming videos, or if you saw that I added something wrong on here, which is a high possibility, definitely comment that down below as well. But that is the end of this. So thank you again for watching and I will see you next time, guys. Bye, y'all.